Hi guys. So we are going to try widescreen today. See if that helps you guys see it a little better. Hopefully um, the videos are helping you complete these assignments. Um, but today we are going to be talking about your assignment that will be due on March 23rd. Okay, so this is due on March 23rd through Canvas. Um, we are talking about systems of equations. We're solving them by graphing, substitution, and elimination. I have three examples that we'll do together and then you'll do three on your own, okay? So let's get going. So our first example, number one, we can see that we are asked to solve this system by graphing, okay? So we have two equations, first one right here, second one below it. We're just gonna take these one at a time, okay? So these are both in slope-intercept form, which we know our y-intercept is on the end, our slope is always attached to our x, Okay, we always start with y-intercept. Okay, that's your starting point. Okay, so my y-intercept for my blue equation is at positive one. So my first point is at positive one for this equation. Okay, now I'm going to use my slope, negative five over two to count to my next point. So negative, I'm going to go down five, one, two, three, four, five, and over two, one, two. Okay, remember slope, use slope, okay, and I'll put in parentheses, remember rise over run to count to your next point. Perfect. Okay, so I found the two points. I can go ahead and connect these. Okay, just to be safe though, I'm going to see if I can give me, myself one more point. So now I'm going to go up five, one, two, three, four, five, never mind, we'll go off the graph, that's okay. Okay, I'll connect those two points with a straight line, arrows at the end because they go on forever, and we are good. We graphed our first equation. Now we need to graph our second equation. Okay, our pink equation. We're gonna do it the same way. So I have my y-intercept, negative three, so first point at negative three, and then my slope at negative one-half. So down one, over two, oh, easy peasy. We can see that they intersect right there. So our answer is where they actually intersect, this point that they meet. So this one lines up with positive 2 on your x-axis and then negative 4 on your y-axis. So our answer is always a coordinate point. In fact, I'll write that on your notes. Answer is always a coordinate point, whether you're solving it by graphing, substitution, or elimination. Perfect. Okay, so that's one where we are solving it by graphing. Let's look at number two. Okay, number two, we're solving by substitution. Okay, so we see that they are both set equal to y. So we can say that y is equal to this one, but since that one's also equal to y, y is also equal to that one. Okay, substitution, just like if you guys had a substitute, here, if I were gone, there would be someone replacing me for that day, right? So we are going to replace the y with that other equation, okay? Substitute it in. 2x minus 5 equals 4x minus 11. Okay, another way you can think of this is if they're both equal to y, which they are, they equal each other, right? They equal each other. Okay, so in order to solve, I need all of my x's to be on one side. I have two x's right here, four x's on the other side. I like to move the smaller one. Okay, the smaller one out of two and four is two. So I'm going to do the opposite of a positive two x, which is subtract two x from both sides. The only one I can combine it with is the x. Negative 11 and two x are not like terms. Okay, so now I have negative five equals four minus two, two x minus 11 left over. Now I can go ahead and start solving this. Okay, I'll scoot it up a little bit. Okay, the first thing I need to do to get x by itself is going to be this plus or minus 11. Opposite of minus 11, add 11. Add 11 to both sides. Bring it over here just so you guys have more room. Negative 5 plus 11 is going to be mm, positive 6 equals 2x. Okay, last step, we divide by the 2, 
6 divided by 2, x equals 3. Okay, that's not our final answer because always, if you look back up here, answer is always a coordinate point. We only have the x part, we need the y part. Okay, so now we're going to use this x to find y. I don't care which one you choose, you're going to get the same answer on either, so I'll just choose the top. So now I have y equals 2 times x minus 5. Well, we found that x was 3. So substitute that 3, and now we can go ahead and solve. Okay, 2 times 3, 6. 6 minus 5, y equals 1. Okay, we have both parts, our x and our y, so we can write it as a coordinate point. x is 3, y is 1, and that is our final answer. Okay, final answer should always be a coordinate point. Perfect. Okay, let's move on with number 3. Our last method for solving systems of equations is elimination. Okay, elimination is where you have two equations again. We're going to draw a straight line under both of them just as if we are adding them. Okay, just like you guys might see 2 plus 3 equals 5. Okay, that's just an example right there. We're going to do the same thing. So now we see which one, when we add them, gives me 0. Okay, let's go straight down on each. Negative 4 plus 4 is going to give me that 0. So we know that x just eliminated. Okay, we're only solving for one variable here. Okay, so if x eliminated, we only want to solve for the y. Okay, so now let's find what y is. 2 plus a negative is still a negative. So 2 minus 4, negative 2y equals 2 plus 4, 6. And now we can easy peasy solve for y. The opposite of times by negative 2, divide by negative 2, y equals negative Okay, these are the only ones that you don't have to solve for both sides. Just one variable, if you eliminated x, then you want your answer to be y. Okay, awesome. So you have three problems to do on this assignment on your own. Print it off, submit it by scanning it or taking a picture through Canvas, or go on to WhoopMath and submit it virtually. Okay, thanks guys.